100% win rate. Medivh versus Gerash. Okay, so this is another Let matchup. Games begin. Let's go ahead and I'll still keep Mana Worm. We'll see. I, I could see myself wanting to mulligan Mana Worm. I'm not sure. It's too easy for him to kill a Firewar Axe. I'd rather play Mana Worm off the coin than on the coin because then you sometimes bait out the Firewar Axe or bait out the coin Firewar Axe. I'm not going to use the coin for double Mana Worm. It doesn't make sense because even if I wanted to say play portal next turn or two i could just play the mana worm then coin portal and i get kind of more damage in anyways like that just because it buffs one more mana worm i'm not an aggro deck per se so i don't really need the early damage i'd ra rather have the board control with the bigger mana worm so i get all my spells buffing both mana worms I got a $5 donation from Funtown. Hey Strife, what do you think of, about Summoning Stone and a Hunter Lock and Load Deck? Terrible or terrible? Probably terrible. <laughs> because... Because you have no way to protect your Summoning Stone. Duplicate Mana Worm so I can play something next turn. If I'm already on the aggressive end of this, I can see it being fine. Death does not scare me. The end is no coming. Ticket. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying it. It looks pretty cool. So I return that back to my hand and then hope the Doomsayer procs. How is the sound? I mean, I could turn down the sound from the OBS if it's really loud. Okay, Summoning Stone got something out of it. Didn't really fight. It was okay, I guess. One of the problems with this deck is I might not have enough drawing power against control decks because I have, a lot of my cards are not aggro cards like this, so they don't really contribute much to the warrior matchup. And I'm only running two Arcane Lux. I could see myself wanting to add an Azure Drake to this deck. Maybe take out one missile for an Azure Drake, that'll help my lasting power a lot. Death does not scare me. I don't want him to be able to kill my flying micers with his fire war axe, so I'm not attacking with any. I don't get any face damage in by attacking. I guess by double attacking, I get to attack with the minion because if I kill Death Lord in my turn, the minion I get can't charge. So on that front, maybe it makes sense to just attack with both. But I can just blizzard it down next turn and then save my flame wickers, So. I feel like Nexus Serod, I'd rather have Drake because I, I want to draw from my deck and not just get free spells. Eh, maybe I'm not sure. Seems like for this for this kind of deck, I would want the synergy. A lot, a lot. I have a lot of synergy.
worth it. Worth it? Worth it. Flame can is too much of a tempo card. I, I can only dedicate so many slots to that stuff because I have. I can't really dedicate my like deck to tempo mage. Medivh versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Let the games begin. I like being able to potentially ramp out a big minion with unstable portal against priests. Uh, I'd also keep Doomsayer in this matchup. It's very good. I very much like a mid range minion to fight his early game right now. It's not really efficient for me to fight Zombie Chow with early game minions because it kills them so e good, kills so easily, whereas I'd rather play this into it, hopefully it doesn't have a death. I need the tempo now, I can't afford to play Mad Scientist first and try to get a duplicate or something. Has to make a decision whether to trade both. Kind of greedy not to trade both there. Hopefully, I get to trade in both scientists so I don't duplicate them. I don't actually think I can kill that. Hey. What are you playing? Uh, new deck. Summoning stone deck. Summoning stone? Yeah. Summoning stone? You'll see. Right, I'm watching. Okay. I have to get it. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna... Okay, so I don't really want to kill this guy right now because if he cabals next turn, he gets a go through my secrets. I'd actually prefer not to kill it with missiles and just let him kill my guy. That way I proc those secrets, duplicate effigy. Since that was the first minion on the field, I couldn't have played Emperor because Emperor wouldn't have gotten duplicate or effigied. I would just, just say it's the Emperor, so. I like this more. Well, just let the Doom Sarah go. Shadow mm. Fiend. Oh, wow. That's such a great ass. That would be good. I I can't get a lot of card draw though, but mana reduction is really good for my deck, so. How many oh, fingers do you see? Chat? Huh? Dilla? The bad thing, huh? I think so. Is that what Dilla did? Yeah. Are you looking to change your mind? Do you know? A little bit. A little bit. You flame waker? Mm hmm. Into a frost now, but think about that. <laughs> I don't think so. No. Uh, Ooh, a double flame wicker arcane missile. Hope to God it dies. It probably will, but I want to play Emperor actually. I really want to get Emperor down. I feel like I just play Emperor here. <laughs> it's too good. I'll have a crazy flame wicker turn. I'm not sure if I can just go all in just because of potential alchemy circles, but. I might have to think of some way where I could play around Alkanite Circle. I should have an easy time getting board control with all these spells, though. I'm not too worried about the Holy Champion trading in healing. I should be able to kill it very easily with all the splash damage next, next turn. So, at the very least, I can duplicate my Flame Wickers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I wouldn't be able to play the Sludge Belcher, but I could play Double Flame Wicker, Duplicate Missiles, and Ping. And ping. I've seen it, 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 I've seen
It's a lot of damage. It's like nine damage. So basically, it comes down to uh, is there gonna be a better missiles? Well, the only way this builds is that the Alchemy and like healing circle, right? I'm mostly wearing a Cabal right now, Cabal Shadow Priest. That's what, because I have Duplicate down, so the Alchemy Circles is not a big deal. Let me change your mind. Uh, well, there's that. But I should be kind of okay still here. A lot of good moves. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna save Blizzard so I can develop this Sludge Belcher here. Start by forgotten torching this guy. I'm gonna leave up the Cabal. I have duplicate down, so I need stuff to do right now. Duplicate will allow me to get some more cards to my hand to play. I right, call it. Do you win this game or lose this game? Mmm. I'm gonna win. Okay. Yeah. What's the something I still can do? Can you scroll over it? You can't scroll over. I don't have. Oh, that's the overlay. Yeah, huh? yeah. There's no. I get this. It's basically cool. a five mana zero six. Every time you cast a spell, you get a minion, like free equal minion, to equal to the mana off. of the spell. Yeah. Before Emperor Thorson or after, uh, after Emperor like Thorson? Is someone injured? My deck is like I have a lot of high threat is minions, injured? high threat stuff. Mm -hmm. What was that play by him? He wants to get a lot of cards. Although, it, can he? I'm not sure. Wow. I thought he was gonna play Circle. Circle heal will give him like 10 cards. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't even know if he can do that. It's too many. I think it's overdraw. Oh my god. He just drew like 25 cards. No. Times two. Wait, what? Okay, we'll see. Wait, what he has happens. one card left then. He just drew 14 out of 15 cards. I think so? Yeah, yeah, actually. I healed his six minions and you're one minion. Oh my god, what happened? I don't know, but he's gonna Man, it's too cool. lose a lot of cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he has one card yeah, left. Wow. Okay, if I can find a way to heal myself, I just win the game, right? Because I could mill him, but I can't. I, there's no way a mage can heal. My I mean, apologies. This is a blizzard, if anything. Yeah, for sure. Like a thousand percent blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a blizzard. I think you're right. I need to catch blizzard first so my things don't waste damage on the blizzard. I think you such well turn I can missile now. Actually, no. I'd enough. probably just hold the missiles at this yeah. point. Are you gonna change your 1 1 into it though? Yeah, <laughs> so you can't heal it. No. I'm out of cards. Oh. <laughs> oh, the burrowing mine. Wait, you took 10 damage? What? Wait, no, what does that do? Oh! I, I thought I was. What? Scroll over it? No, no, he uh, didn't. I, okay. Oh, he didn't draw it because it No, it's it discarded. Oh, so you didn't take damage? No. Let me uh. change your mind. Oh, shit, you just got fucked. I'm okay. I have a polymorph for the Belcher. I have a lot of control cards. I have both Doomsayers left, and if you can't clear Doomsayer, I could just frost on a Doomsayer and win the game. Hmm. Frost on a summoning stone? That sounds good. I can take over the game like this. Alright. Yeah, this is like how my deck operates the synergy here. I feel like he's dead. That was such a dumb play from that priest. I don't think he realized what would happen. He drew 14 cards. It would have been better for him to just play one yeah, cleric. One. One. No that was way too games. much, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me count mana. I have six mana after this polymorph. I could play five mana. That should be fine. I don't care about the ping that much, I think. So let me play a mana worm here. Before. Blood and blood. Uh, forgotten torch on. The four three. Yeah, so that's that's right. Four three. Engaging TC one thirty. I actually can't this play this missiles if I want to get a dude, unless I seriously so want my guys. Oh, 
Holy <laughs> shit, this priest is done, so fuck it can be in this grub. Yeah. But how could you win Deathwing? Deathwing? Yeah, maybe. I could still win with Sludge Belcher, because he's, he's in fatigue. Light bomb. Oh, something stone is immune to light bomb. Embrace the void. So he has to win with these three cards, and I'm still getting cards. Kind of shitty cards, but yeah. I'm gonna play this missiles just to fill the summoning stone and to buff my mana worm. There we go. I don't want to waste the ping on, on the Alcanai because I might trade into the Sludge Belcher anyways, so. Let's trade that one. Oh. Is that good for me or bad for me? Kinda bad. Okay, bad. <laughs> yeah, bad. It's okay, he's in fatigue. He should have killed- oh, no, I no, uh, he has no cards. Yeah, that's definitely bad. There's no way he's winning though. He's taking four and five, six. I'm getting cards. So. Welcome to the grand tournament, champion. I can survive a long time with Frost of Us. I can Frost of it on the last turn. Okay, he, he gave up. I don't think I have to. Yeah, no, you're yeah. I can just freeze that and burn him out. Uh, this is cool. I've. 100% winner in this deck so far. Uh, what, like one game? Yeah, three games after this? Wait, uh... Ah, that's fucking job. That piece play. I definitely feel like I'm kind of missing an Azure Drake. Somewhere... Where I always- I'm like always wanting the Azure Drake every game. I'm gonna go at. I'm gonna go ahead and change one missiles to an Azure Drake. Is there another card that would give me a lot of lasting power to cycle through my deck? I remember using both Arcane Intellects. This is just too weak. Even like even without the downside three, like, it's just not good enough. Oh, Gadget's the Auctioneer, which is a card that would really belong on my deck since my deck has a lot of. Stuff that can protect my board, like Frost Nova, Gadgets and Frost Nova, and then go off like that. But the problem is, there's like decks that control wire where they don't need the board to kill your minions. It'd be really good against Palom Dad and Gadget, and probably. I'd probably just take the Azure Drake, it's much less risky. My mana curve was so messed up. <laughs> 11 3 drops. Oh my god. Well, that's okay. These aren't really 3 drops. Arcane like Duplicate Effigy. Torch is actually kind of iffy. In this deck. Oh well, we'll just do this. Madiv versus Valira. Let the games begin. Okay, I, I think I need I need threat density right early on against Rogue, like throw down minion after minion, especially with duplicate. Forgotten Torch is kinda good because it kills the Shredders and it kills three threes, but I feel like I should still go for more minion density, especially mad scientists, maybe even arcane and elect early. And it, it feels like for this deck, Forgotten Torch doesn't make that much sense. I don't actually cycle through my deck fast enough, so I'm like always in top deck mode, too close to that. Duplicate decks are usually kind of close to top deck mode. Not really close top deck mode, I mean, you don't cycle through that fast. I'll show them. I'll show them all. It's too back, back loaded, this card. Like the second half of the card is stronger than the first half, but I, w I want the immediate power right away. The reason why I consider this card is because I do want some burn damage for this deck, but I don't want a lot of burn, so this is a way where I can get burned later on in the game, so not be flooded by fireballs early in the game. So I'll get more of these. I 
I'm gonna try to get lucky here. If I miss, I might consider using another coin. I was hoping I could just coin out Emperor. I feel like this is important because on turn 5 he has Drake and Lothab, and if he can trade it and drop Drake, then I'm playing from behind, whereas this way I might stop him from playing his 5 drop minion because he has to kill Flame Waker. I'm assuming whatever comes out of the Shredder can't kill Flame Waker in one turn. The reason to save coin is I could coin out Emperor and I could also Flame Waker coin Forgotten Torch which is really strong as well. This guy's toast. <laughs> I only had still out of coin here. Because Emperor would have been much, much better. I, I need this Flame Waker to combo a lot with these spells, but. I'm gonna take one. Greedy turn here, so I can, my next turns can be better. I like okay torch moves, maybe torch plus unstable portal, but I can just do so much more once I get this emperor down. So many options. I know I even have frost nose to kind of make his board useless. It's just I'm so low already after this turn. If he doesn't have sprint, I can maybe just run him out of cards as well. A lot of tempo in my hand after this emperor. Interesting. I need a race somehow. Complacent. You might feel a little. Oh. I was hoping I get something in play with this unstable portal. This is kind of perfect. I could have saved the portal for Flame Waker next turn. Probably have enough mana to do it. But if I could play this, it starts hitting him next turn, so that's important. I have two Frost Nose. I won't be able to combo Frost Nose with Doomsayer just mm. because that's too slow. I die to the weapon. So I actually have to just use these Frost Nose to freeze his board and try to kill him while the Frost Nose are active. That's my goal right now. So I have a Belcher. I need to play Belcher because if I. If I took the damage 8, I'd probably be dead. I'd die to Blade Fire, I'd die to Eviscerate, things like that. So I couldn't play the Belcher next turn hmm. if, I, if I want to survive against some of his things. We have Ooh. This is actually a dream scenario for me. His hand was bad. I can actually prevent him from cycling Blood Mage with the boss of him. Oh, maybe, actually. It's probably gonna die. Uh, I can't. I can't afford. Oh well, whatever. I'm just gonna kill it. Probably gonna kill I it. The fire lord. Ooh. Hopefully it doesn't die. Time for a change. Nice. Needs a top deck. Okay, so I need one damage here from the from the flame waker. Uh, this is a hard decision. Eight, ten, eleven, fourteen. If I torch him in the face, I still have lethal next turn, but I drew another card from Blood Mage, so it's kind of likely I die here. I'm at 4 life. Kind of why I want to just go for it. Because no matter what, I could die to a top deck, Eviscerate. Or, like, a, I don't know, Oil or something.
Okay, so let me think about this for a second. I feel like taking out Doomsayers is good. I need to find a way to clear the board, make a comeback. I feel like Frostva and Flamewaker might have enough synergy against aggro, where maybe I could just uh, clear like that. Just leave up my Flamewaker for enough turns to kill, to kill everything. Double Nova, double Blizzard. What if I do this? Okay, let's try this. In fact, I, I never feel like I really need fireballs in this deck. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take a Forgotten Torch. Cause I think it's just not very strong. If I replace Forgotten Torch with like Azure Drake, or maybe Shredders at this point, Mechanical Yeti. This deck has even more synergy for Mechanical Yeti. I don't have a lot of minions in this mana, like in this mana cost right now, so I don't like using coin. I could use the coin to get out of Belcher faster. So. I feel like I need to play some cards in my hand for my AI and duplicate. In fact, if he kills my mad scientist and duplicates that, I need to run right away. Oh my god. That's good. <laughs> this could get pretty crazy. No Archmage yet, but... Still seems good. Not gonna play any of these. They're too weak. The shield maiden right now. I might save that. And plus, I could coin out Ronin, but I don't have Archmage yet right now, so. Or any Flame Wakers. I'd rather have the Boom Bots right now. If you BGH is this, I have Blizzard, so I can play Double Man Worm Blizzard. If you Shield Slams it, hopefully I just can kill the Shield Maiden with my Boom Bots. The Blizzards are gonna be pretty important with the Mana Worms, because I don't want Mana Worms to get traded into by his minions. Okay, just taking a lot of damage for that at least. Now I'm just getting confused, getting complicated. I'm just gonna play Ronin here. Actually, I have too many cards now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten already. Let's do this. I could play Belcher, but it's too vulnerable to the trades right now. And I think Belcher is a good target for me to duplicate an effigy because that's taunt, so I'm like really trying to dig for my Archmage, just like the key card for make it because I have so many spells. I could actually play Ronin Coin Effigy next turn or something like that. I like stone here because it's five. Belcher's five is six. Just gonna get in the face damage. Cause this is three missiles, so I actually have a lot of burn. 
in my deck. I also played a Torch, right? So probably get brawled anyways, I feel. So might as well just get in the face damage, hope this guy doesn't win the brawl. I guess it was pretty reasonable just to try it at the second bin butt, see if it works. But I don't like trading the Mana Worm in. Alex Trasa, maybe? Oh, but... 